Zhao, and this is my son, Danto. Danto. Welcome to Fantastic Science. Today we will be exploring different microhabitats. Some bugs have small home environments, and some have big home environments. Let's go. Go 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 go. Did you know that microhabitats can be found anywhere in the world? So what is a microhabitat? A microhabitat is a very specific small home environment for plants, animals, and insects, such as ponds, individual trees, or under a stone. Microhabitats can be found anywhere if you look outside in your garden. Some insects or bugs like to hide under pot plants. Other insects or bugs prefer to hide in between the crevices of trees, in the branches, or in the bark. Some insects or bugs like to dig deep into the soil and hide where there is no sunlight. Other insects or bugs enjoy living in the tall grass, some in the corner of the garden and others around chairs or furniture. Microhabitats are amazing. Let's look. Do you think there'll be bugs under there? Yes? Want to have a look? Yes. Can you help mommy pick it up? One, two, three, oh, wow, this is heavy. <gasps> wow, what can you see? It's an earthworm. Can I pick it up? Yes. Pick it up. Did you know earthworms don't have any eyes? They like to live in damp, wet environments, so they can't see the sun. Do you like earthworms? Yeah. An earthworm has no arms, legs or eyes, so they cannot see underground. But they don't have to see because there is no sunlight deep under the soil. The worms live where there is food, moisture and lots of oxygen for them to breathe. Did you know an earthworm can live up to seven years? And the biggest earthworm was found in South Africa. <gasps> wow! It was 22 feet long. Do you think there's bugs under the logs? Yes! Let's have a look. Help mommy pick up. I saw my daughter! Slowly, slowly. Oh, do you see something? Yes. Oh, look, what is that? A millipede. Yes, it's a millipede. Millipedes are small little worms, also known as thousand leg worms. But this worm only has about 200 legs. They like to come out when it's dark and their eyes are on the sides of their head. They also like to eat dead plants and leaves which have fallen from the trees. Millipedes don't really have a thousand legs did you know they only have 200? They have 200 legs and they like to live in damp, moist environments. This one is a little bit scared, so it is trying to protect itself. Let's put it back, okay? Good my, goodbye, Millipede. Bye. Do you think we'll find bugs under there? 
this. Let's have a look. Oh, what is that? Ants and bugs. Yes, it's ants. Look, there's an ant hole, an ant nest. Ants like to live in dry environments. They don't have ears and they can lift 20 times their body weight. Wow! Ants don't have ears. They can feel the ground move around them. Some ants also have small wings and they can fly. All the ants can swim. And some queen ants can live for many, many years and have millions of babies. Wow! Isn't that amazing? Did you know the daddy long leg spider only has two eyes? Daddy long legs don't produce silk. They don't make silk like other spiders. Wow! And they have one pair of eyes. Not eight eyes like most spiders. They are also not dangerous because they don't have any poison. And they can live for up to seven years. The male daddy long legs have much longer legs than the females. Do you think there'll be bugs under this plant? Yeah! Yes, do you want to have a look? Yeah. Help mommy. One, two, three. Oh! Oh wow, what can you see? I can see. This is called a pull bug. Pull bugs are also called roly polies. They are called this because the tiny bugs can roll into a tight ball when they are scared. They live all around the world and they can live for up to two years. This is known as a pull bug because it rolls up like a round ball to protect itself. Some kids also call it roly-polies. Pole bugs like to live in dry areas, under pot plants and under some logs or maybe some leaves. Say goodbye, pole bug. Goodbye, pole bug. Goodbye. Let's put it back. Wow, these micro habitats were amazing. Which one did you like? Um, the spider. The spider? A baby spider. I liked the earthworm. Which microhabitat and insects did you like? Please leave a message in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you later, future scientists. Goodbye. Goodbye.